TTC Niner Empire, what's up? It's the Air AQF 503. Um, sitting here, uh, I got a request from uh, two people that are bleeding all over the joint to come in here and buy them some of these. They uh, were scared to come in by themselves. So, um, the boys here buying it for them. I have no idea which ones to get what the super because they seem to be bleeding all over the joint. Um, or the ultras right there with them super pluses what they're bleeding all over the place and I bet they drop three more videos in three two one TTC Niner Empire what's up it's your boy Iraqi Vet 503 um coming at you just gotta give a little schooling lesson a little a little teaching lesson to some motherfucker thinks he's a motherfucking real legit motherfucking Niner fan. You hold up a little motherfucking kid's jacket in your video. Bitch, you bought it at Goodwill, so shut up with the Edwards at the stick for 76 to 84. No, you wasn't, bitch. You never saw Steve DeBerg throw one pass, so shut your ass up. Oh, is that too far back for you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to go back before Joe Montana. My bad. Alright. That's probably too much history for you. Just like your ass probably didn't know the Niner colors haven't always been red and gold. They were silver and red back in the day. The helmet silver with the red logo. You probably didn't know that the 49ers is the only team in NFL history to have their entire motherfucking backfield enshrined in the Hall of Fame. And I'm talking about the million dollar backfield. Uh, Hugh McElhaney, Joe DeJet Perry, John Henry Jones, Otto Graham, or John Henry Johnson, Otto Graham. You know, you probably didn't even know that. You probably didn't know there's six players with four Super Bowl rings for the Niners. There's one coach with five. want to get on here and talk about being a Niner fan, then talk about it. Chop it up with, with Niner fans when they say they want to talk some Niner football with you, you know. Talk with them. Chop it up. They want to see what you're about, what, what type of fan you really are. But... You done exposed yourself, you made all our jobs a whole lot easier. Because the second you motherfucking mention that bullshit about Seattle and taking Steve Largent's number and putting it on Jerry Rice's back. Talking about the Niners don't do that with their legends. You done fucked up. Because we took John Brody. That's probably too old for you to remember too. I mean, I didn't see him play because it was before my day, but me being the fan I am, know the history of my team. Took John Brody's number, number 12, just so you know what number, number 12, and put it on that garbage motherfucker's back named Trent Dilfer. It fucking sickened me. That's why I hate Dilfer so fucking much. I could deal with the fact he was trash during that time. We had so many trash quarterbacks. Dilfer could have come and gone and been trash. It wouldn't have bothered me. It fucking sickened me to see that. That's why no matter how much Trent Dilfer says or talks good about the Niners, tries repping the Niners, he'll always be fucking garbage in my book and he can fucking go back and jump on Baltimore's wagon. I don't give a fuck. You don't disgrace fucking greatness like that you don't do it and without using google there a bomb you're so motherfucking much of a niner fan name all six players that got full rings with the niners i want all six names but i'm never gonna know if you use google or not so you'll probably get it right because you'll go to google and do it Okay, so 
that teaching lesson's over. Anytime you want another one, get back to me. Hey, and the uh, farmer jackass, you come on here and talk about, I'm ripping the legend lot. Bitch, you don't, you don't pay a hundred, hundred and thirty something dollars for a motherfucking Nike jersey and all they did was slap the name of a legend on it. That ain't a legend's jersey, bitch. Get Mitchell Ness or nothing, okay? The real shit. Get the real shit. The Mitchell Ness or the really old school ones, you know, that the players actually wore back in the day. The Nike shit, they're just doing that to sell more fucking jerseys. No, that's not what I consider repping a legend. Throw the New Age jersey on your motherfucking back with the legend's name on it. That ain't it. Now, this this is probably the last video I'm going to make for you motherfuckers until I decide I'm going to pick on you punk ass bitches some more. You fraudulent motherfuckers. Okay? So, now... Before you motherfucking open your mouth or speak to any member of the Empire, Mr. Frisco, Megatron, Billy Badass, motherfucking C. McCarver, 49 cents, JL103, Osmosis, motherfucking Danny, goddamn Big Dizzle, motherfucking all of them, Hiroski, anybody I'm forgetting, my bad. You motherfucking raise your hand and you ask permission. You haven't earned the motherfucking right to call yourself a fucking Niner fan. Okay? So don't fucking, you know, get a, get all motherfucking high and mighty thinking, Oh, I'm ripping the Niner, blah, blah, blah. Nobody's nobody's paying attention to you. Nobody's listening to your fucking punk ass. I ain't watching not one of your videos. Okay? I ain't seen none of the dumb shit you've been saying. I know you've made enough videos about me. I mean, damn, your pussy's got to be out of blood by now. You've done blood all over the motherfucking joint. You're probably going to drop three or four more on this one. Just because. But, you know what? I'm glad I got that much impact on you. I say a couple words. You spend half your life making videos. So go ahead. Make them all you want. My next motherfucking video. I don't give a shit what you say or anything. My next video is going to be a draft video. And I'm going to be talking about where I want to see this motherfucking squad go in 2015. Alright. Now, until then, you two little bitches are now my bitch. So grab my pocket.